What's up, everyone? It's Dave again, back with some more how-to videos. I will be working on another Custodes tank, and I'll be showing you guys how I do black. Right, get things set up a little bit better here. Turn this down. All right, so... To start off, I've already primed the tank black uh, with just some rattle cam, but I'm going to come back in and reprime it again with some Style Res Black Primer. It's really good stuff. Uh, really good stuff. That. Give me a second. Let me make sure the audio is playing correctly because this is the second time I've had to do this. I want to make sure the audio is doing what it's supposed to be doing. One second, guys. Shouldn't take me too long to show you guys how I do black. It's usually only consists of just a couple of colors uh, when I do black. But I'll go ahead and first get a good solid, really good solid coat with this style res primer. So get any of the spots that I missed, rattle can, and give it a good uniform coat. Like GW Black. This, this like the GW Chaos Black in a can, that stuff works really good, but it's really super expensive. Nice, even coat. And this is the closest thing I've found to the GW Black can. Uh, it works really well. Went through, went through our. Uh, I'm gonna pull out to give you guys a little bit better angle, so you can see how I do things. Through, give it a good, nice, solid coat. So I'm gonna clean out some black. Doesn't have to be all gone because it's not that big of a deal. I told y'all before how I use my ketchup bottle. If you notice, I flip it upside down, stick it all the way in the bottom squeeze the bottle that's what helps keep clogs down but go ahead and let that run out i'm going to give that a second to dry the airbrush back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to... So I, I keep it kind of simple. A lot of people ask me how I get the, the effect that I get with. Some people are like, oh, that's that's the color I want to do, such and such. Well, it's really simple how I do it. I use Vallejo Game, or excuse me, Model Color. Uh, it's black gray. And it's part number 70.862. That's pretty much all I use. Am 
but I'll start high spots of stuff. So I'll, I'll start right. I'll try to get some right there. I'll get some right there. That's where I'll put my focus on my spray. Of course, my airbrush is going to be a pain in the ass tonight when I don't need it to be. Kind of fumbled it earlier and I'm in a little bit. But you see, I'll, I'll, I'll go in like that right there. You know, I'll, I'll, and I'll lay some stripes. Be cooperative. Nice thing about having multiple airbrushes. You just got to be careful with them. If you just, if you, all it takes is a little bump at the end of that needle, and that's all she wrote. Still. Get this thing work loosened up. I ain't used it in a little while. Been using a lot of my, spending a lot of time using the 105 Extreme. Poor old Patriot 105. Just been neglected. a little bit so you know like i said the showing y'all guys how i do black is going to be really quick and really simple we'll also it'll be a bonus for you custos guys uh because i will also show you how i get my red a lot of people ask how i get the candy red that i get or the effect that i get with using to me a clears and it, it's pretty much all about the base how you layer the base up I might have got a, got a hold of the end of this needle too. Awesome. Do with what we got here. All right. That's coming out a little thicker than I want it to. We can roll with it. We can make it work. They all concentrate on the highest points and just run there across all the high points with this black gray. You can come in. There's a couple different ways that I do black. Uh, one way is this right here. Another way is to airbrush top of everything and just uh, kind of let it blend in and help blend in with the bait with the primer. With the black base, I mean, as well for the custodes. Black with a yeah, well, black with my custodes is like this. I notice that's pretty much it. That's all there is to me doing black. It's just using the black gray for highlights. Course, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep rolling. Do the candy red because showing you how I do black only just took me a couple minutes. You just you have to apply it to the high 
the highest points of the panels to get what you want. To get the, that's how I get the effect I get. And I'll go towards the end of those. Big, large panel. I'll just spray the very end of it and let the overspray a lot of the work. But that's it. So if all you wanted to learn was how I do black, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to learn how I do the candy red, stay tuned. Now, a lot of you guys will be surprised to find out that I do candy red with just a brush. I don't even use the airbrush. Don't even need the airbrush for this. All you really need Go ahead and turn the compressor off because that's not going to be needed. All you really need is a decent little a Citadel medium dry brush. So that's all you're going to need because I'm going to be doing a lot of dry brushing now to build up my form my candy. I'll be using in succession Vallejo model color. what I'm using. I'll start with a gunmetal gray first. First. We'll start with that. Now the panels that I intend on doing uh, candy red will be this this panel, this panel, panel, that panel. That's all I'm going to do on this, and then on the top, I'll do this. But I'll start. You know what? I'll start on this top piece. This color to do all my metal, these colors do my metal works. So I'm just like, I'm just. Tap it on there. You don't have to paint all the way up to the edge. Because I'm going to use that edge that's black. I'm going to use that to help with my effect. First effect. Uh, first color. Notice it's not all the way. All right. ways to get the candy effect. Uh, Moggy's got a really nice, really nice um, scheme. I really like it. I just, I just decided to do mine a little different. It looks really nice as well. All my so that I want to do it on a little over on there. Not a big deal with what the scheme that I'm doing. This I streak chipping, I guess you could say. That's what I call it. I guess I do what's called I call streak chipping that tips where it is flown past stuff and hit stuff. So over that I get over on the model. Um, Uh, 
It's pretty much, you know, like I said, you don't go all the way to the edge. See it. Hopefully the camera will work with me here. All the way to the edge, I'm just going and stapling it, stapling it, or whatever the hell you. And this will also help give it a burnished look with the metal. Um, just the way that it goes on there, it, it looks really good. Gives it a burnished look when it's when it's all burnished. It's kind of like a machined metal. Let that focus for a second. All right, we've done this side, so we'll go over here to this side. I'm nearing the completion of my custodes commission. If anybody is wanting to commission some custodes? No, I don't mind painting custodes. I actually really like painting custodes. I don't like playing them because they're so damn powerful. But if you do... About Paul, our mission up for a little while. Let's have to give you guys that. Sure, I already know that. This is a Patreon only video. It won't uh, every. I will try to like a couple times a year. I'll post some videos, just public videos. I'm going to keep. So, like, I, I just went live public with my. Probably do another one of those public. Or so. Last one. I put out for a little bit. All right. So, that's the first stage of the base work. Now, I repeat the process. But this time I'm going to use gunmetal. And do the exact same process, but I'm not going to overlap it. I'm going to just come a little bit inside, black all the way around it. I will leave a gray ring all the way around it as well. I'm mainly going for to make the panel, when it gets the candy on it, it makes it depth. Looks really good. It helps with shadowing and such. But we'll we'll leave we'll leave a little bit of that outline. Of the uh, wow. Well. the other color not really got to load it up just Stapling it on there, it'll help give that effect of burnished. All right, now do the lighter of the silvers. And we'll finish it up with the chrome highlight.
even really have to completely completely dry. And it dried this this airbrush paint dries pretty quick. And but you can already see it to start to layer up. Coming up pretty good on the on that one. Hit some of these other colors, these other areas. The colors again when I go back over this. See, is it's it's slowly starting to build up. It's really gonna pop, uh, but it's once we get to this, once we get done with our uh, our silver base, that we seal it, and because this this um to me a clear red is alcohol base. It will eat the paint. It'll eat the silver. I'll distort and look all kinds of crazy. Have to seal it. Even if you do like a gold base with your candies. Another good color to use. Very rich. When you use. Uh, when you use um, like a gold base. Right there. This is. Gunmetal gray. I said it wrong earlier. It's gunmetal gray. And with a dark aluminum. And then you finish off with a chrome. And then you seal it. So now we will go with the chrome. Now this stuff much it I'm just worried about getting the high points with the chrome. I'm not worried about going all over every area on it. Just the chrome is going to be right. And that's what we want. Succession. panel light, I try to get it where you can see it in the light the light is really gonna reflect this stuff really well I mean these you do these colors together they are super bright the light's gonna kick back some of it and distort some of it So, this last little piece.
move on to this one. A little bit more on there. We are. Use the airbrush to help speed up the process of drying it. Clean out that old color. You didn't know, I actually ordered me a building studio. Oh, actually, you know, I've been talking about wanting to do more content, wanting to upload more content. Uploading content when you got, you know, five kids running around, for them to be quiet all the damn time. That, with that building that I'm having dropped off in a couple weeks, that should make it where the video content should be a lot easier for me to upload. So if it's easier for me to upload, then I'm obviously going to put out more content. That was all, that's all part of my plan to produce more content this year. So I've said it once before, I'll keep reiterating it. I'm going to work on getting more content from my Patreon supporters are helping me, uh, helping me further my hobby and getting things quality of uploads and increase the, uh, the amount of uploads. Uh, something else that I will be this year will be uh, changing audio my video over to I want to get a couple GoPros, but those things are not cheap. <laughs> that will I'm gonna do. I really can't wait to do some GoPro action. Because those things are going to film in 4K. So you guys should be able to see everything perfectly. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and seal these. Get them all sealed up. So MIG matte varnish. Uh, you can use MIG. Or you can use, uh, excuse me, you can use matte. You can use satin. Most times I use satin. But I'm going to go ahead and use matte so I can go ahead and just clear the whole model. Matte varnish on these things, it helps to keep from damaging the paint. Nice all the way around to go ahead and just seal it. All right, let that sit for a sec. out the airbrush now you guys seen how quick it was for me to do the black it, again it was super quick you just basically take model color black gray and go over highlights just airbrush lightly air, airbrush highlights the panel what you would imagine light would be hitting first because if you spray it all with that it'll just Make it look like a, like a gray. 